Welcome to the very first Cassid game on the hot brand new patch here. It is the January 2022 patch, and we have two of the goats of Age of Empires 4, some of the greatest, GL the Viper playing the new and improved Delhi Sultanate. They've received a number of nice bug fixes, which have in turn are going to be very big buffs for the civilization. And he is up against the Muslim. Now, the Muslim is currently ranked number one, and he has a Smurf account, Barbecue Man rank number two on the ladder. So, a very, very good player. He is playing as the Holy Roman Empire. Now, I have not seen the Viper on ladder in several weeks. He took some time off. He was pretty upset with the current state of balance. But here he is back at it. First day of patch. So uh, this should hopefully be an exciting game. Um, let's think about some things we might see. Now the Prelate no longer bugs out. If you were aware before, the Prelate could break and stop inspiring. It will no longer do that. They did supposedly fix that. I say supposedly because I've learned to not actually trust the patch notes. Just take them as guidance and see if they're <laughs> they're actually true. Um, uh, one big change was to professional scouts. So the Holy Roman Empire is a civilization that likes to go for an, uh, sometimes a stable opening and go for those professional scouts and go pick up those deer. Um, and then leads nicely into a fast castle. But now scouts will run much slower when they're carrying those deer so it is possible to actually have some counterplay with them now so we'll have to see if there's any difference of play style personally i like doing professional scouts with delhi um i've been doing some a lot of times some kind of like early double mill opening so he already has one mill you could like in transition throw down another mill and you can you know get wheelbarrow you can get survival techniques and you can get professional scouts power outs of scholars when you hit the next age and especially if holy roman empire is going for professional scouts you can try to you know grab the the hunts before he can it's free real estate um but as far as like the early game changes for the delhi sultanate if you saw my patch uh updates uh my, my patch note rundown the biggest change is they fixed it so that piety it was really bugged it took forever to research so now you can actually research uh efficient production and piety which is many of your scholars additional health right as you hit the second age so you can get two techs in in that time and they re reduced the time it takes to get sanctity i think it's by 90 seconds so you can get sanctity much faster now so you can have agency going out to get these sacred sites, which will give you plenty of gold. Those are the early changes as Delhi. And in another really big one, they made it so spearmen actually brace for both these civilizations. Both civs had a broken spearman before. So that is also, in turn, a buff for both of these civilizations. We see the Akin Chapel coming down for the Muslim there, which he will in garrison that prelate into to get that area of infect inspiration. And... Currently aging up. Let's see what Viper's up to. He is aging up with them of Faith. Um, nothing too fancy here. Has his Lumber Camp. He already got to that first technology there. Um, he has three on gold. And since he's keeping these on gold, I really think he's going to be work, uh, planning on building uh, training a lot of scholars, which he should be. So that's what these are going to be doing. They're going to be supporting so he can instantly start training some scholars up. Get this full. Um, and then once you hit this, you know, has three out of three scholars, you can start putting your next scholars out on the map. And some people will go for towers on the sacred sites. We'll see if Viper does that. Now, interesting, Delhi was actually the civilization that supposedly made Viper quit playing AoE 4 for a period of time. So it's interesting to see his first few games back here. He is instantly trying out Delhi, and they receive some pretty good buffs, so you can't blame them. Let's see what the Muslim's up to. He has a few villagers on wood, but he's been primarily on... I mean, he's collected a lot of gold in transition. This makes me think he's going for professional scouts. Does he have a mill? He does not. His Viper... Is the Muslim just going straight for a fast castle? Um, something I wonder. What's he planning on doing with all of this gold? We will see. I think he just spent a little... Wait, did he just spend some? Oh, he's going to train an additional prelate. Very interesting. So he's looking to really boost up his eco. I mean, he's already going to have the area effect of this. This is covering, like, all of his villagers. So maybe this was a misclick? I don't know. That's kind of interesting to me. Because he doesn't... Like, he doesn't need the second prelate right now. Um, But maybe he's going to walk out to the hunt with it. 
which he could. And since he's building the mill by the hunt, I don't think he's going to be going for professional scouts. I think the Muslim's just going straight for a fast castle. So there we go. Uh, that's what I think that's what he's doing. He's only had it looks like one villager building the age up. So that is has to be what he is doing here. Um, bold move. Um, now the Viper playing his Delhi. Delhi don't typically rush extremely aggressively, though he could have put some pressure. So he want to scout out his opponent. Um, Viper's running in right now, and he sees this pretty late age about to Muslim, and he has to know something up. He's gathering lots of gold. You know, this could be for the professional scouts, as I mentioned before, but, you know, he might know that something's up here. A uh, Muslim or, or Viper went instantly for the Steeled Arrow. So I think he's going to be playing this aggressively, probably going to be putting down a Rax and some Archers and maybe going for a little bit of feudal pressure. And it's good to hit, uh, or at least get some map control at the very least with Delhi before uh, HRE gets set up in the Castle Age and go for all these relics. So... He has a barracks. He started that blacksmith because he's training lots of scholars. So it's good to get that blacksmith done down early so you can take advantage of those technologies. He has all of his techs in queue at his economic buildings. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, so the Muslim did train this second prelate the second he hit the next... Well, actually, right before he hit the second age to inspire these villagers. And he used his scout to... Oh, my gosh. He used the scout to push the deer in. I've done this before, but very rarely. Um, so he's trying to get the deer as close as possible without having villagers chase him down. He was pushing them in. That prelate's going to be doing the inspiration. It's not going to break anymore. This prelate's inspiring all these. Oh my gosh. Is he going to go? No, I think he's just setting up. I think he's aging up. Yeah, he is. There we go. The Muslim's going to be aging up. Down comes, I'm sure, that Aachen Chapel. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there, right by his town center. No, I'm sorry, the Regis Cathedral. Yep. So the Regis Cathedral, you put relics inside here. If you get three relics, that is 900 gold per, per minute. Okay, so the Muslim's on his way up. I'm not sure Viper has necessarily scouted this. I mean, if he walked over too late and saw these two barracks, he might almost think some shenanigans are going on in the feudal age. Like, you could be thinking you're getting man and arm rampushed. But these men are going to start coming out. He's going to be able to defend these relics already. And I don't think Viper really has enough. He has, he's just now starting to get these sacred sites and he has one spearman and one archer. I mean, those aren't going to deal with the, these men at arms, especially as they get their castle age upgrade. I don't know why he would just blindly open with spears, to be honest. He hasn't scouted a stable. Is there a stable in base? No. I don't know why he would just blindly open with spears in general here, but. Yeah, he's got the retreat from this. He might be able to kill his main arms just because you got the scholar here. He can keep some distance between his archer. Yeah, definitely a, an interesting open. But starting to get this first sacred site, this will be 200 gold income per minute for the Delhi Sultanate. Okay, there we go. Second one uh, heading up. So that'll be 400 gold income. Let's see what those prelates are. He's got one getting that relic. One getting that relic. So he's already got like guaranteed 600 gold if he gets those two relics in. And he has to kite back from uh, this man at arms. Viper's uh, aging up right now with the compound defender. Now, you can go for House of Learning because Hone Blades is a lot faster now, but he must want to go with the compound defender. And it's still a very, very good landmark. So I think Delhi truly has two options for H3, which is really great. I love that it's not just going to be single-minded. Like people can go with different landmarks and they're viable. But Viper is going to have his uh, sacred sites neutralized by these man arms, which look, that man arm is just in there posed. Look at him. He's posing. Not anymore. He was like posing there for a second. Did you see that? Biting off wolves or something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. He, oh, he's running back from this man arms. Yeah, this is really tricky. Uh, but once he gets to the next age, he could train some crossbows to deal with this. And he can use uh, efficient production and really power those out. But he's low on... Oh, he's not low on res. He, he's doing pretty good. So I think that's what we're going to see. Let's let's check it out. Yes, here come some crossbows. And crossbows and man-arms. He can start powering out. wonder what his plan is with this compound defender. He doesn't have any stone right now. Um, I, I, I kind of honestly feel like here, from the way he's playing this... He could have maybe gone for House of Learning. I, I, I have a feeling he's not going to take advantage of the Compound Defender because he hasn't gone for any stone. Um, but I don't know. 
It is what it is. Okay, here we got Spearman. We've got some crossbows. Oh, he gets... That's his third relic for sure. So he's going to have 900 gold income. So Delhi's trying to get these sacred sites. But meanwhile, the Muslim's bringing in lots of gold. Especially, we'll look at the income per minute as he gets that last relic in. Now, these crossbows will be good. But that's quite a, a number of men arms in, in Holy Roman Empire's men in arms are... They have upgrades that make them much speedier than the typical. So they can chase down those archers uh, pretty effectively. As you can see right here, he needs to get out of there. Oh, no. This is not going to be a fun fight for him. Woo! But we have an elephant. You guys know what time it is. Yes, it is. This is Elephant Cam featuring the Viper. Look at that. There we go. Viper explores the new Delius alternate here on the January patch. Beautiful elephant cam. We always feature the elephant cam when he comes out. He is a thick boy. Man, these wolves are fucking screaming. Where are these wolves? Do you guys hear these things? Oh! Chill out, bro. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we've got... Uh, let's look at the income per minute now that he has all these. Look at that gold. He has uh, no villagers. Uh, he has... I don't think any villager yet. No villagers on gold. Look at that come in. That is a lot of gold for him. Uh, and you can see he's out gathering across the board right now. So very strong economy. Let's check this out. Uh, 36 villas versus 35. So very even on villager count. It just comes down to those those relics are going to make a big difference. Okay. Now I said that the Muslim or Viper might not take advantage of the combat defender, but he is building a stone wall segment. I just feel like this is going to be like... Ah, uh, this is not going to be a favorable position. He's going to maybe get control of these sacred sites now, but the Muslim can just sit back and go for and make and start instantly making bombards with all this gold he's going to have. And this ain't going to do nothing when the bombards roll in. And oh, 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 what happened? Oh, I, I think. I don't know what happened. It looked like maybe he was trying to maybe he was trying to delete this one and somehow he managed to delete this too. What on earth? Okay, well, I guess you don't need the bombard. Sometimes uh I guess you could just delete your own defensive emplacements. I mean, that could have been a bug for all we know. I heard something else get that was the Muslim delete something. Maybe. I don't know a viper. We get, we need to get a, a we need to get an IP check, guys. Is this the viper? Is this what Facebook gaming looks like these days? Okay, so the Muslim is going to be neutralizing this sacred site. Um, elephant coming out. Let's get up in here. We gotta see what's going on. Elephant cam. There he is. Looking good. Looking good. Man arms behind him. Back to the action. The Muslim's just having a great time. He's got a full boom. Delhi's got all the sacred sites, but he goes, eh, that's okay. I'll take care of you in just a moment. So let's see if he's aging up. Um, not yet. He has been getting a significant uh, number of infantry, but contesting these sacred sites. I don't know what happened with this sacred site. I just don't know why. Oh, we've got the magic man, Dan, in the chat. Celebrity, everybody say hello to Magic Man Dan. It's good to see you. Wow. You know, I was just thinking about playing some squad the other day. We might have to get into that. Okay, so Viper, his elephant is surrounded right now by the Man at Arms and the Lance, Lance Neck. And in come the crossbows to try to stop him. Oh, he's healing. He's healing. He's healing. Will he stay alive? How much HP does he have? 121. Nice hold from Viper. This is good. Is this enough for Delhi to get the momentum they need? Oh, no. But there were raids on the back line. Let's look at the villager count. 38 for Viper versus 45 at the Muslim. He wiped out several of his villagers on the back line here with the cheeky little man-at-arms raid. Oh, my word. But here come the elephants. Okay, chat. If you're watching right now, Give me your best elephant uh, roar. Sometimes they do this like sound. I don't know. 
<laughs> okay, we've got bar more barracks. When you're the HRE, why make variety in army comp when you can just make more men at arms? And let's face it, these guys, they got these huge feathers on their head. How are you going to beat that? Here they come into the crossbows, into the scholars, into the man arms. But this is looking like uh, a, a cleanup likely for the Muslim. He is just surrounding those elephants. And uh, oh my gosh, we've got to call PETA because I am not sure if you're allowed to just do that to elephants these days. Oh my gosh, down they go. And oh my, oh shoo. That was a, a, a uh, unfavorable fight for the Viper. You know, I got to say it, guys. Uh, Viper's looking a little rusty here. He hasn't played Age of Empires 4 in a few weeks. And it, it feels like it's just showing. The Muslim is obviously, like, at his peak performance right now, gearing up for this big championship this weekend, $20,000 tournament. But uh, just absolutely uh, ruling this game. It didn't look like Viper w was able to be aggressive enough, uh, wasn't able to secure the Sacred Sites, and victory is going to go to Demu. Thank you so much for watching this casted game here on the brand new patch. As always, if you enjoyed the video, take a second to hit that subscription button and the alert bell and leave a comment. Let me know what players you want to see, what matchups you want to see, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.